interests of getting you reelected, I suggest we downplay your opposition to gay marriage. Yeah, I get it. Keep it vague until we win and then go full force. Why don't you focus on the bread and butter issues, the price of gasoline, reviving the economy? Cleaning up the corrupt Landview Police Department, starting with John McBain. I made the switch. But we're still not hearing anything, John. You will in a second. Dorian's talking the mayor's ear off. <laughs> Hope this works. Taking a big chance, bugging Lowell's office. We'll find out soon enough. John McBain is one of Commissioner Buchanan's cronies. We need to put a stop to this. Absolutely. Your idea to weed out the bad apples in the Landview Police Department, it's really a winner. The, the problem is so bad that, that it, even in my own home, I had a house guest staying with me, a young lady, and she took LSD. I mean, she didn't, oh, whatever. She had no idea what she had taken. She was only 16 years old. That is a damn shame. Mm-hmm. Well, and Kevin, our children are not like that. You can say that again. Hello? <laughs> we make a deal or not? Look, I don't have much, okay? I'll throw it to the kid who wants to score. Sell him what you got. If we had gotten the re-up, it wouldn't have been a problem. But right now, I'm running low and I got my regular customers to take care of. I'm not looking for a year's supply. I just want to do it. Can you handle that? Can you? Well, not out here in the open. Who knows who's watching? Take the kids someplace else. into an opportunity. Yes, how about you spearhead a neighborhood campaign to wipe out drugs? Or, or better yet, how about uh, the high school having a say no to drugs campaign spearheaded by you and your son? Would Justin do something like that? Justin's a good kid. He'll do whatever I ask him. Sounds like he's as good a dad as he is a mayor. Yeah, like father, like son. Um, we're not going to get anything from this bug if uh, Dorian's still glomming on to him. Did you hear that, John? I'll get her attention. Hey, Bo, I, uh, I got to take this, all right? I'll get back to you. What's up? Hey, John, I, I need your help. Something really bad just happened. Calm down. What happened? Uh, this kid, he wanted to make a buy. Uh, Sergey was standing right here watching me. I, I didn't know what else to do, so uh, I, I had to sell him drugs. Okay, look, I know it sounds wrong, but you did the right thing. Well, what if this kid uses, right, and something bad happens to him because of me? Where are you? Uh, the, the southeast corner of the park where the warehouse district starts. I'm right nearby. Can you describe the buyer? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, brown hair, short, uh, blue, green, striped shirt. Did you get a name? Uh, Justin, Justin Lowe. Sit tight. Wait for my call. Call? What's wrong? You and my friend are under arrest. 
us. This is a phone. When I hold it to my ear and I talk into it, it means I'm busy. <laughs> Obviously, the call wasn't that important. How do you know it wasn't important? Well, you just hang up to talk to me, so it couldn't have been that important. I, I cannot deal with you right now. I really... What are you looking at anyway? What's got I you so... I want your advice. Check this out. Does this look like a, a drug deal to you? Come in. Just me. We were wondering what happened to you. I thought you were going to distract Dorian. I, uh, I got sidetracked. You got room in the cell for one more? I want my phone call. Sorry, you have to get out of here. Not until you tell me what happened. Sorry, if they see us together. They'll think that we're talking about our daughter. What's the matter? I know you think you're protecting me by keeping me away. Sorry, this is dangerous, okay? Look at what it's done to you. Oh. I know that anything is better than prison, but... If you won't leave, then I will. I'm not letting you walk away. Not when you look like you're falling apart. Hope needs you, and I need you. D the baby card? Really? You and I get through anything together. Let me help you. Sorry. Please. You know how I was pretending to be a drug dealer? Well, now... I'm the real thing. What'd Justin say when you brought him in? Not much. Apparently doesn't have as big a mouth as his father. Uh, well, Nora and I know Justin some. I think he's probably real scared, but he's still a little punk. Hmm. Not to mention he's a child. Were the handcuffs really necessary? Well, he kept running. I got tired of chasing him. There you go. How do you want to proceed? Well, I think it's obvious. Cut him loose. Why? Well, where to begin? Okay, he's a child. Has no record. The most I could charge him on is a misdemeanor. Not to mention the small matter of escalating a war between the mayor's office and this department, namely the two of you. Well, that's good, you know. The, the longer we keep Lowell distracted, the more likely he is to make a mistake, and the sooner we can bust him. You really want to use that kid to trap his own father? If it means getting Cole out of a situation, absolutely. Dad, pick up. Uh, it's just Justin. I'll call him back. No, no, take the call. It's your son. What is it, Justin? I'm in trouble, Dad. 